Hello and welcome back to this channel. So today's tutorial is going to be about how to create a custom handmade wrapping paper to wrap all your gifts this holiday season. We'll be mainly using stamp brushes for this and I'm giving out a free set of stamp brushes. You can go ahead and download it with the link in the description box below. First, I'll show you how to bring these brushes into your Adobe library so that you can use them as well. I will also walk you through creating stamp brushes. That is, we'll create one stamp brush so that you have an idea of how I create this. If you want to know how to create other kinds of brushes in Adobe Fresco, go ahead and watch my previous tutorial. I'll link it in the description box as well. So let's just get started. First off, let's bring in all the stamp brushes into Adobe Fresco. So go ahead and click on the link in the description box below and it's going to take you to this page. So once you click on that link, you'll see this. And if you're using an iPad, it might open in Safari. Okay, once you're here, make sure you sign in, otherwise it won't work. So once you sign in, you can either click on copy to your work or follow library. So one of these things should make sure that you have access to the library brushes in your Adobe library. So this works only if you're signed into your Adobe library or Adobe account on your Fresco. Otherwise, it won't sync around. Let's go ahead and open Fresco. So I opened the file where I actually created all these brushes for you guys. So if you click on the pixel brushes and then if you scroll down, you'll see something called as library brushes. And in there, you should find a folder or yeah, a folder called as print me some color. And if you click on that, you'll find all the brushes. So this is how you'll get all these brushes in your library. I'll just quickly show you how to create a stamp brush. Basically, I drew this using my vector brush here. And it's just a black and white. Always make sure it's in black and white. And then you're going to click on share. And then you'll click on publish and export export as and you're going to export it as a PNG and save it on your device. If it's an Android tablet or iPad, save it on your device. After that, let's just quickly go to capture and click on this image icon here. I used this in my previous tutorial as well. So if you watch that, this might be a little redundant for you. And then click on camera roll. Go ahead and bring in the image that you just created. So once you have this, make sure you're on brushes, by the way, and click on tick. And now in crop, you just have to adjust so that this is something like this. And style, we're going to use the first one and go to settings and let's go ahead and make the spacing and size. Make sure you give as big as you want. We're not going to change anything else right now. Let it be directional. No problem. Click on save and then you'll find the library that you want to save to. And that is print me some colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that. If you don't have any library here, you can always click on plus and then change it. That is, you just click on this and you give us a plus and you give a new library and click on save. Let's open Fresco. Okay, I'm going to go back to my home screen and I will choose a really big artboard. So I'll click on custom size because it's a wrapping paper. And although your printer can print an A4 sheet, if you have an option to print bigger, choose a bigger size. But since my printer has an A4 sheet as the maximum allowed width and height, so I'm going to choose an artboard that is 12 into 12 inches so that the design goes all over the page. So let me just quickly change it to inches. And this one, I'm going to make it 12 and 12, oops. And then this one, you can always give it as 300 and click on create document. So now let's go ahead and experiment with our brushes. So let's go to our brushes. Okay, so let's start off by selecting some nice brushes. So I like the snowman and the presents. I have the presents, so I'll go ahead and choose some nice color, maybe pinkish. So now I can go ahead and click and it creates a nice present. You can also increase the size like this. And you can see it's making in different directions. That's because I've set the brush settings like that. So if you want to change the brush setting, you can always go to this tab here. In here, you can go to scattering and scatter the brushes as well. So that when you draw, it comes in weird positions like this. I'm just going to choose that and increase the size a little bit. And yeah, you can also click to make a stamp effect like this. And you can also reduce the size and make some here as well. Let's not fill it up with this particular brush. So let's go ahead and choose something else. So I want a snowman and I'm going to make my snowman blue because why not? Change the size and I recommend doing it on a separate layer. 
and reduce. Like this. You can also change the color if you want now. You don't have to do the same color everywhere. Like that. And let's go ahead and choose some other brush. That is, I have a brush which looks very nice for Christmas themes. That is this one. Let's make it bigger. A few of them here, I guess. That looks nice. Let's just reduce a new layer. You don't really have to do that, but I do it because I don't know. I like having things on different layers. It gives me more control over things. It's okay if they overlap. That's totally okay. And then let's go ahead and choose another brush. I think I'll take this this one here, the candy can, um, but I will give it a yellow because why not? So these are very tiny. So let me just increase it. Still tiny. And increase it more if you want. That looks fine. And I have some gaps here. So I'll just choose one more brush that I have. That's a Christmas tree. And I'm going to go ahead and choose some green. I'll make it a little darker green. Let's see how it looks. That looks okay. Let's increase the size a bit. So I want something here. Like that. As you see, the Christmas tree is not jittering or going around and all those things. So you can just go and probably scatter or something like that, or even here, shape dynamics. You can give angle jitter. So now it goes in different directions. I hope it works. Yeah, it works. So you can just go ahead and now put in more trees if you want. Okay, I think we have a lot of these elements. Now there's one more trick that you can do uh, to make this a little more unique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this. Let's choose one, this presents. That should be fine. So click on a new layer and click on clipping mask. And now I'll show you something that is, you can go to your watercolor brush or any brush that you want. I'll choose the watercolor wash flat. And I'm going to choose some bright colors like this. And let's draw the size is too small. Let's make it biggest. And the flow is set to full, as you can see. Okay, so I'm going to draw and add some things like this, but I'm not adding the color to the whole present, as you can see, you know. Okay, let me just uncheck the uh, clipping mask because I want to show you what I'm doing. So I'll just go ahead and choose wherever the presents are and add a bit of color like that. You can actually add it to the whole page if you want, doesn't matter. And then let's go ahead and choose some other color and add a bit like that. Okay, now that's done, you just have to click on clipping mask and then automatically all these presents have this unique color combination out there. So this is basically how you create this stamp brushes based wallpaper. Now, if you feel like, oh, it's still so, you know, not so nice and I need to change some things or something like that, you can always go ahead and go with your vector brushes or anything like that. Click on a plus, choose some really nice color that you think goes well with this and you can actually draw some dots like this to fill in all those extra spaces and i'm using a pink maybe a red would be better because it would be very holiday themed but not everybody has christmas so we should remember that a lot of people celebrate other festivals not just christmas so keeping that in mind i don't have just christmas themed stamp brushes here i do have some florals and stuff like that so everybody can use it you don't have to really create a christmas themed wrapping paper so you can just i have some really nice brushes which are like leaves like this and yeah you can go ahead and experiment with that check out all those things i also have a spider here um that's a tiny tiny spider 
there you go so you can go ahead and experiment with that so once you're done with the whole wrapping paper thing once your design is complete and you want to export it just click on export publish and export and export as and you can give it as a png or jpeg it does not matter and then you can export it and send it to your printer so this is one way to create a wrapping paper in fresco in next mini tutorial i'll teach you how to create a wrapping paper using the same stamp brushes but using fresco and creating a pattern in adobe illustrator okay so i hope you like this mini tutorial and if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell also, don't forget to download all these free brushes because it's free. Why not? I guess I'll see you in the next video then. Bye-bye.